More than 10,000 kilolitres of drinkable water. The plant located at Witsand near Riversdale in the Southern Cape has been fully operational since December last year. This project is a collaboration between the Western Cape and French governments. The desalination plant aims to bring much needed relief for the drought stricken Hezekwa municipality. It churns out 73 kilowatts of power to convert salt water to drinking water. A contingency of government officials visited the site in December before it became operational. Basically, it's the very first plant actually in South Africa and, and, and extensively in Africa who is going to produce drinkable water from seawater with solar energy only, no batteries. So it's the first in Africa. And so far it will be the biggest one in the world because it's going to produce a hundred kiloliter of drinkable water per day with solar energy only. The Western Cape and French governments contributed nine million rand towards the plant. This is a first of its kind on the African continent. It's a desalination plant using reverse osmosis, but also the first type of desalination plant in the world that uses also sun energy, solar energy, and we are particularly happy that this project will bring water security to this tourist town of Witsand in the Western Cape. We do have, as the French government, a facility uh, supporting innovative technologies uh, and promoting them abroad. And basically, uh, we were able to fund half of, the, of this de pilot project uh, in order to prove uh, to prove that uh, this technology can um, exist here in Africa. The Southern Cape also boasts the country's first solar-powered airport and municipality. Segwichetti, SABC News, George in the Southern Cape. Well, top